stimulate me. My brain ain't desecrate your revolution. Master these rhymes with liquid bio fusion. And assess through the passes. I step in the club. I resurrect the dance floor like a Two big bad offerings. And they are making the case as the best tag team in Upfront. Yeah, you're going to just see pure smash, smash mouth style wrestling out of these two guys. Not a lot of headlocks and wrist locks, but a lot of straight right hands for the jaw. You know, we saw the great Alexander out here just moments ago with all those abs. Pat the Bruiser has none of that, but he'll knock your damn lights out. That's for sure. And Crosshair Skelly, he's no slouch either. He'll be straight, he'll straight forward, punch you in the face. And introducing their opponents. Absolute intense wrestling promotion in Cleveland. <laughs> Students of the very talented Dominic Garini are here at Uprise, but they are opposed by Warhorse. So no easy task for Chuck Stone or Ryder Reed. No, and it looks like we interrupted Chuck Stone's lunch or something. Is that a hoagie he's got his hand down there? That may be a hoagie. Keep that away from red. It's <laughs> a hell of a good point. I'm going to leave that one alone. Sorry, I got you again. Bell here, tag team action and uprise. As Ryder Reed, Chuck Stone make their uprise debut here on the Indie Wrestling Network once again. $5.99 a month if you're watching us on a free trial. Make sure you subscribe. Please do. Because we've got... I got bills to pay. Yeah. I hear you, brother. Duke and Doe's Hardcore Memories, Women with Waffles, countless hours of wrestling action, all type of good stuff for under 6 bucks a month. So make sure you subscribe. Let us keep the lights on. And you won't offend me with cash either. No, not at all. Another corner of a tie up here. You can really see the physical chess match unfolding here. There you go. There you go. That's right, baby. Big body. Hey, Paul. Chuck Stone's got a he's got a hamburger on his trunks. That's different. <laughs> I've seen a lot of different things, but never never a Big Mac on it. Another Colin Hobo tie up here. Yeah! See Crosshairs yeah. Kelly trying to get that low base for added leverage. And that hoagie, that hoagie power may be working because Chuck Stone got Crosshairs Kelly back to the ropes. A very rare occurrence that someone outpowers crosshairs. Yeah, he's a big, strong individual, so, but I guess when you got a lot of Big Macs pushing behind you, you get a little leverage <laughs> advantage here and there. It's a lot of carbs, brother. And this is Wise from Crosshairs Kelly. Went for the go behind. Hey, Paul, what the hell that, was that? That was different. That's all I can say is that was different. 
Has crosshairs out of sorts. And man, Chuck Stone put his appearance aside. He just put crosshairs down on the canvas. And as we said, you don't see that too often. No way. Nice little tag team tandem move there for two guys who are really a first time tag team. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Ryder Reed, this young man, we're seeing check it in here. May have to get his teeth checked. No. Ryder Reed is a skateboarder outside of professional wrestling. Tries to use a lot of that balance inside the squared circle as well. Really does things his own way, goes against the grain. And you can see he's, all, has, he's literally going in circles around okay. Crosshairs Kelly. Well, got caught there. Nice oh, no. improvised offense. Yeah, I thought Crosshairs had him there, but he was able to turn it into a modified version of a bulldog. Double arm DDT planted uh, Crosshairs very abruptly there. And there we're seeing the skateboarding uh, influence. Yeah, well, that's not going to win a match for you, I'll tell you right now, kid. Uses it to drop an elbow on the spine, transitions to the cover. I think uh, Tony Hawk would be proud of that. I'm sure. Look out here, Chuck Stone is the legal man. And he just squashed crosshairs. Old burger right into the right into the corner. And in, again, I, I can't point this out enough. It's not often you're gonna hear me say this, but Crosshairs Kelly is in trouble. But man, is he a vicious athlete. Chop blocking Chuck Stone. Yeah, he's got it. He got the advantage here now. And this is where Chuck Stone does not want to be because the fun and games could be over. Oh, without if you get a doubt. trapped in the wrong part of town with the yeah. Warhorse. Yeah, these two young these two young men definitely feel that they are the top tag team around. And uh, they're looking for championships, that's for sure. You have to think that if Warhorse continues this momentum, continues to rack up victories, they could be on their way to the main roster of Rise and quite possibly challenge for those tag titles Without currently held by System Elite. Without a doubt, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to let the cat out of the bag here a little bit, but Crosshairs Kelly has actually gotten a hold of me and asked me about strategy. So, you know, they're really looking for to become the top tag team around. <laughs> and Pat the Bruiser just squashed Chuck Stone. I think he, he just bruised his buns. I'm going to just go with you. We're still trying to make a hamburger reference off of that. And leave it that. We'll go with it. The amount of brute force but speed that Warhorse collectively brings to the squared circle is almost scary. Oh yeah, when these guys are on top of their game, and they are on top of their game, I dare I say there is none going to be better right now. Well, Paul, you said that Crosshairs asked you for some strategy. What did the t what did you tell? Him? I'm not going to give up all the secrets of the trade. He's just like, I mean, hey, you know, I'm a multi-time tag team champion. These guys want to know how to get to the top. So, you know, the young man, uh, he was pretty smart in getting a hold of me here. So I discussed some ways to uh, get yourself into that championship picture with him. And right now, Chuck Stone is just being physically bullied by Warhorse. Yeah, they don't call this man Bruiser for nothing. He will definitely lay some lumps on you. You're going to be black and blue by the time he's done. And here you see that classic tag team strategy, cutting that ring in half, keeping one of your members of the opposite team in your corner, and antagonizing the other man while you do it. Wait a minute, Pat the Bruiser could have been caught sleeping. Almost got rolled up, just but he like just that. bull rushed Chuck Stone. Just like that, Warhorse right back on top. Paul, I'm going to tell you what. Warhorse may be on the rise right now, no pun intended, but I truly believe that we are going to be talking about this tag team for a very, very long time. Yeah, there's no two ways about that, Jim. 
These guys are just physically impressive. And they've got they've got the killer instinct and the killer attitude to go along with those impressive size and moves. And as we're seeing crosshairs, Kelly round Chuck Stone. We did mention that Ryder Reed and Chuck Stone, students of Dominic Garini, real quick. I want to send a shout out to Dominic with uh, the success he's had in his career recently. Good job, brother. As Chuck Stone trying to fight his way out of it here, he ran into a brick wall. Yes, he did. A little, a little shot for his uh, partner there too, uh, for, for good measure. And despite being their debut here, Reader, I'm sorry, Ryder Reed, excuse me, and Easy Chuck for you to say. Yeah, I hear you. Ryder Reed and Chuck Stone are proving that they, that they can, they're durable. They can take a beating. They're not going to fold up like a cheap suit. They're yeah. proving they want to make a mark here because you don't sustain this amount of punishment and keep fighting unless you're dedicated to this sport. Well, without a doubt, like I said, for a first time tag team, they're actually uh, working well together. These guys do know each other outside of the ring as well, but. You know, it takes a lot to work as a tandem team, and they're doing it right now. And as you see the teamwork here, Warhorse. Well, I know this may sound trivial, but think how much it takes to move the frame of Pat the Bruiser off of your shoulder. Oh, it's definitely gonna gonna take a lot out of you each and every time. You gotta try. That alone will wear a man down without even hitting him once. And man, Pat the Bruiser is just a monster. Uh, and you notice how he puts himself in between him and his tag team partner. And right there it shows why. If you can't move the big man, you can't make the tag. He placed himself perfectly between... Uh, Chuck Stone and Ryder Reed there, and uh, when Reed tried to get through, or uh, Stone tried to get through there, he had to try to move that mountain of a man, and it didn't work out too well for him. <laughs> oh, that'll separate a shoulder in a heartbeat. You know, Jim, let's uh, let's face it. Uh, this Chuck Stone's quite a big man, and Dick the Bruiser just throwed him, was throwing him around like he was a rag doll. Pat the Bruiser. I'm old school, what can I say? <laughs> no, you can't smell what's in my cup. Sorg will fix it in post. Getting a reprieve. He's got to get over and get a tag quickly if he does not. But notice here, Crosshairs Kelly tried to hook that foot and slow him down a little bit. Pair of tags here. Ryder now the proverbial house of fire. Ten minutes gone by, ten minutes. Hooks that leg. Crosshair's right there at the last minute to break up the pin. How competitive has this action been here? Well, this has definitely been one for the record books. I said for a first time tag team, these two young men, the grinders are really getting oh, the war to run for their money. Chuck Stone hit the floor very, very hard. Look, Look out, out here! Wow, he just squashed him. That's it. Forget about it. I spoke too soon. Chuck Stone literally saved the loss right there. You are seeing two teams give you, give you everything they have here. If Chuck Stone wouldn't have gotten that ring in time, this was definitely over. No one is holding anything back here. You can't hold anything back at Uprise. Well, somebody's been studying tapes. I'm telling you. Come on! Ryder Reed gonna take a chance. Going up high here. He hit it. Is that enough to keep Crosshairs Kelly down? 
And this time it is Pat the Bruiser just bull rushing Ryder Reed. We have seen the last three pin attempts literally, literally saved at the last possible minute. Now everyone's down on the canvas right now. This looks like a car crash. All four men showing the signs of this very physical contest. But whoever gets the win here is going to earn it. You got to admire the fight of Ryder Reed. But is it going to be enough against these two big, strong men? Ryder Reed up the back door. Line tag made. Wait a minute, Chuck Stone got caught. And he just took his own partner out. That may have been a mistake. Warhorse just plants him. And, and that's finally, it. finally, that will do it. The winners of this match, as a result of a pinfall, the team of Crosshair Stilly and Pat the Bruiser, Warhorse! Warhorse once again putting themselves just that much closer to the top of the tag team ranks with a huge victory here tonight. Warhorse may be the most dominant team in Upfront. And dare I say, if they do make that Rise roster, they could very easily become the most dominant tag team in Rise as well. Could Pat the Bruiser and Crosshairs Kelly be on their way to turning Rise's tag team division completely upside down? Wait, oh, wait a minute! What the hell is Ryder Reed doing? I think he took exception to the loss there. Now Chuck Stone was through a war as well. He, uh, he appears to be a sore loser here right now. And I don't think Chuck Stone will be served, uh, sharing any more of his hoagie with him, that's for sure. I don't know what Ryder Reed's problem is. This guy's a disgrace. Worthless! Introducing first, from the IWC Academy, weighing in at 185 pounds, he is too glad to give a damn, Trophy Boy, Tyler Klein. Back 